Yes guys, welcome back to the match day experience. Today we're off to Carrow Road to see Norwich versus Preston in the championship. It's a stadium that I've never been to before, so I'm really looking forward to it. Let's go. Okay, so we are now walking to the stadium. It's actually in sight, not very far away at all. I'm going to give you a score prediction now, which is about 10 past two. So I've seen the teams. I know Preston don't concede a lot, but I think they're going to concede two today. I'm going to go Norwich two, Preston nil. <laughs> so let's see what happens. Alright guys, so welcome to this food review. I'm going to do a proper one this week because last week I had to cut it short. Anyway, we've got the, the pie, which actually won pie of the month. Let's take a look at that. It cost us £5.50, it's chicken and ham, so let's give it a go. Okay, so we've got a nice bit of chicken here. We just want to take a look at that. It's just the environment where everyone can thrive and all feel welcome. Do you know what? That is really nice. I actually really like that. Very good. For me, I give it an 8 out of 10. If you come to Carroll Road or Norwich, definitely recommend getting the uh, Pie of the Month chicken and ham, I believe it is. Quite a lot of filling. The paste is really good as well, I have to say. Like, it just all blends together very nicely. Just under 15 minutes until kickoff now. Pretty looking forward to this one. Let's see what happens. So the pie is lovely, however, it's really quiet. The game hasn't started yet, but the concourse is quiet. In the stadium, it's very quiet. I get there's still about 20 minutes, but it's silent. The team just swapped ends, which is brilliant because we get Norwich second half now, and uh, the away fans are at the other corner, so it would have been the other way around. But unfortunately, pressing this way in the first half, Norwich in the second half. Let's go, come on the boys! So Norwich scored in the opening couple of minutes and absolutely nobody was stopping Josh Sargent. Really nice goal. The scoreboard looks brilliant too. I'm happy with that. Norwich on the attack, but nothing happened. Played both teams easily still win it. Preston happy to knock the ball around the back, but Norwich would definitely have more attacks. Let's see what happens for the rest of the second half. First half. Norwich definitely on top. The home side then came close again before Preston made their chance count. One all very good save from Preston, really nice header as well into the far corner. Absolutely no chance for Tim Crawl. And just like that, they're back in the game and have to say they deserve it. Norwich may be slightly on top, but Preston have not been out of it at all. And uh, fair play to them, nice goal. Fans are starting to get a bit louder, game's heating up a bit. Norwich have got a free kick in a dangerous position. About five minutes to go until half time, things are looking good. So guys, if you can, please go over to Instagram and give me a follow on there. It's the Matchday Experience, same as YouTube. There's some bonus content on there, including next game, which will be Spurs versus Frankfurt in the Champions League. That will be coming out soon.
Gabrielle Sarah. It's a relatively even first half, but maybe not slightly on top. They're attacking our goal in the second half, so let's hope they can score a couple. Defender there and now Norwich have a free kick in a really dangerous position. Definitely a yellow card, a really poor one. Loads of change strikes as well, but definitely worth it. Three, two, five goals. Brilliant game to watch as a neutral as well. I've really enjoyed it. So guys, it is now after the game. I really enjoyed this one. Five goals as well in total. Not the best game overall, but a very good match day experience. Nice to see Gabriel Sara getting on the score sheet as well. And I have to say, Preston really deserved something out of that game. Unfortunately for them, they got the win. Disappointing for Norwich, but what can you say? It was deserved and well done to Preston. Anyway, now let's rate the day. So guys, it's that time of the video where I rate our match day experience for the day. So we have atmosphere, stadium, value, scoreboard, which is quite unique to my channel. And then would I come back? Yes or no. So kicking off with atmosphere, to be honest, guys, it was really flat throughout the entire game. The only time it was really loud is when they actually scored. So I've only gone for six out of 10. When they did score, though, it was very loud and the goal song was quite good as well. However, they really weren't up to it and were quiet for large periods of the match. But moving on to the stadium itself. Now, this one really impressed me. It's championship level. Obviously, it has been in the Prem. Um, I think it holds about 27, maybe 28,000 people. And I think there are at least 26,000 there today. Day. so yeah very impressive really like the stadium nice colors as well easy to get to and right in the city center moving on to the value now this one was not bad at all i have to say it cost me 15 pounds for this one my ticket will be on screen in a minute and uh, yeah you can't really complain i saw five goals a decent game wasn't amazing considering the number of goals but definitely very good value 8.5 out of 10 for me 
Now it's time to rate the scoreboard. Now I often get criticised for rating the scoreboard on my channel because it's less important than the others and that's exactly why I rate it out of five. And this one was perfect. Five out of five, it moved, it changed shape. Everyone in the ground could see it. It was perfect to be honest with you. It displayed the score, it showed replays of the match, it had nice animations and the score itself was actually shown on the advertising boards around different parts of the stadium. So yeah, a couple of perfect ones in this series already and this one is definitely one of them. Now it's time for the all important one. Would I go back to Caro Road? Now guys, I had a really good match day experience. I really enjoyed it actually as well. The stadium's conveniently located, not too far away in the middle of the city as well. However, I would actually say no. Now I would go back, however, only if it was for an away day. I wouldn't be in a rush to go back to Caro Road, I have to say. The team, they played all right and Preston were quite boring as well. So I wasn't wild enough to make me think I have to go back there like some of the other stadiums I've been to. But overall, really enjoyed it. My first time in the stadium and I'm very glad I went. Moving on to the league table, Norwich sit in 7th, joint with Spurs and Brighton. However, they sit below them due to having a lower atmosphere rating because for me, that's more important. Anyway, Norwich, I think 7th is quite fair. I think my scores are quite fair. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So as we come to the end of the video, here's a quick chance for me to tell you that I met Isaac Hayden at a service station on the way home, which was pretty random, but really nice. He was very generous with his time and very happy to take the photo of us as well. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and turn on the notifications so that you can be one of the first in my next video. I'm currently trying to hit a thousand subscribers before November the 5th. So if you could help me out with that, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video, which will be Spurs versus Frankfurt in the Champions League. Thanks for watching.